behind why I think at 20, I mean, 36, I'd be better than 26. So, so can I uh, just briefly interject? I sent over, this is some new Andrew lore, uh, the first ever dropped uh, in a long time, and I'll drop it right here on the Whatever Podcast. So via Discord, I sent over a picture of me at 19 when I was a model. You may not know this, but me, Andrew Wilson, I was a model. I was a hair model. Not kidding. Hang on. Not kidding. I was a model. At 19 years old, I was a hair model. Some, some, some actual lore for you. Now, I'm going to have Brian pull this up so you can see how fucking delusional you are. Andrew Wilson at 19 years old versus Andrew Wilson at 40 years old so that you can see the difference. Hey, some of us like Send it over via Discord, men. by the way. You got it? <clears throat> Thanks. I think men look better when they're a little older. Yeah, I think that's, so. that's yeah, what I'm saying. Like, no, I like older I men. Do. I have a feeling that you look better now. I just have a feeling. Just There's just something <laughs> about well, my we'll this time. We'll this is my point. People have second. different it's... tastes. I mean, it just is what it is. People my theory, though, comes from personal friends that I have that are almost 40, and I've seen photos of them at my age, and I think they look better now. Not almost 40. And we're about to show the pic, and then you can just see for yourself. Okay, Nick. Because I got to tell you, you guys are living off in Dululu fucking land. Yeah, but you, you drink think and that at 39 smoke, years but... old, you're going to be as good looking as you were at 22. That's insanity. Repeat it. <laughs> I just said, but you drink and smoke, so wouldn't you assume that you're more aged now? Do you think now? I always drink yeah, and Dululu. smoke? Yes, or what? Probably. And by the way, do you think that men can't drink and smoke and still maintain their attractiveness level? Age comes for us all, sweetheart. All right, Regardless of whether you think it's not going to come for you or it's coming. It's coming. And guess what? Oh, yeah. The you wall, look way better now. The wall is wow. undefeated. <laughs> Like that was so Run. quick. Damn. That was so that quick. Was so One good. more time. I didn't get a pull. <laughs> One more time. Okay. Can, are we That's trying? a great jawline. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It's a ripper jawline. You did have a good hairline. I can see you at where you're going. Oh, it handsome man. I have to say, oh, I'm handsome. handsome. But I'm not even kidding. I think you look. I like Oh, he hair. was so great. He looked so great. Yeah, because. I wasn't fucking 40. No, no, you know, we're, we're saying, saying <laughs> No, Andrew, we're now. saying the opposite. We all you think like, you look better now. All yeah, of us that, think that. that whole Giga Chad. pale face. Giga Chad. Okay. All right, whatever. I just think males are more attracted to a younger looking female where females are attracted, yeah, generally speaking, is, very uh, generally, like that, to an older looking man, not a baby that, face. That like you were gorgeous, you, yeah. but you had a baby yeah, face. Wait, so then how can you, you look be like more attractive like, as time cute. goes on? Well, he's but you asked to like about us specifically, do, do I think that from 26 to 36, by logic, you would make the assumption that if I have an extra 10 years of training and looking after myself, I would therefore look better than what I do now? Yeah, but okay. By Lud- so like let me ask assumption. you a question. Let me ask you a question. All else, all else being equal. So, assuming that, I mean, you're training now, right? Yeah. Aren't you? Yeah. Okay. So you'll what? What are you gaining in ten years? More muscle? Yeah, absolutely. You From ten guys, years ago till now. Think muscle is a primary attraction trigger in men. But it's not necessarily about that. If you want to get into the complexities of training, you can get more muscle. You can reduce fat. You can get leaner. If you sure. want to get into powerlifting, you can put on weight. Like it depends on what you think. So in my assumption, if you're training and you're being fit and healthy for an extra ten years, wouldn't your body by default yeah. look so, better? So let me ask you a question. So. Assuming you don't train at all, mm. but you eat healthy and your body fat percentage doesn't change at all. Although for most people as they age, they tend to gain weight. Mm. But I'll disregard that and I'll just grant that your body fat percentage stays the same, but your actual, um, uh, how, what's the word for it? Uh, composition, your body composition, no changes. From 30 to 40, there's, you're saying that there's no difference, no negative difference between those years? Well, I never said that. What I said is from 26 to 36, I think I'd look better, but from 26 to 46, I think there would be a decline. So I agreed with you. Right, but so you're saying that currently, so looking better, looking better, looking better, 36, looking worse, looking worse, looking worse, essentially? Well, essentially, yeah, because then women start to go through menopause and all of that. So then you totally change your body and then you do start to age. so So, So people, there's no like physical signs of aging in one's face? In ten year period? Yeah, of course there is, but you yeah, asked for my personal are, opinion. How important is face when it comes to physical attractiveness? Yeah, pretty important. Pretty important. So you're not gonna have any changes to your face? I never you're said that. Hit the gym. 
for your face. <laughs> don't you have gym you goals? Huh? Pardon? Don't you have gym goals? Yeah. So, like, yeah. what? if you have a gym goal now, how is it going to get better after 10 years? Well, Wouldn't if you, you have a look at the... you your goal before 10 years? Well, the beauty in the gym is it's ever it's, a, it's, it's always changing. So, just say it. when I started at the gym, um, my goal was to put on weight, and then I got into bodybuilding, and I had a bodybuilding goal. Then I got into powerlifting, and then I had powerlifting goals. Now, I'm out of powerlifting, and I have different goals now. So, it's a forever evolution. So, you actually never reach a final destination in the gym. The growth sounds terrible. <laughs> but Working men. out is terrible? What? Well, yeah. no, just... Having that constantly moving goalpost. Do you work out? That's terrible. I do, yeah. What do you do for working out? I go to the gym. But do you have goals there? And my goal is to lose weight. How do you, how do you maintain that? How do you hit that goal? Have you hit that goal? No. I have not hit my goal. But so how is that? So my goal is a desired weight that I want to get doing. to. All, all I'm saying, like, if that works for her, that's great. But I hate the moving goalposts. I I like to have one, so, so when one you, goal. So when you when you well, what is your that. goal like a specific number or is it like a, like a yeah. you look. So when you get there, what's gonna happen? I hopefully I will maintain that weight. Uh, you gotta hit. Another. It's not it's not just maintain. You gotta like your body's always gonna be changing. That there's always gonna be a goal. It's just not yeah. You but just hit it and then. But my body is changing. Therefore, I have to change to keep my goal right. where it is. Yeah, that's what we're saying. That the goal is what we. There's always going to be. But the goal, goal is still the same place. I'm just shooting the ball at a different angle. Okay. You guys. Okay. So. <laughs> I guess yes. You could be morbidly obese at 26 and in the worst shape of your life, and then you diet, and then you would have a more physically attractive body by the time you're 36. But again, all else being equal, assuming that you were already in like fairly peak physical shape at 26, do you still think if you were also in peak physical shape at 36 that you're going to be more physically attractive? Great question. Um, total transparency, I hope so, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Depends on how I look after myself in the next 10 years, if you're asking about me specifically. You're in peak physical shape. I'm granting that you're in peak physical shape now. Yeah. And then in 10 years' time, you're also in peak physical shape. Yeah. In terms of your fitness, whatever, physique. But that's not going to undo the fact that there's changes to your skin that occur. There's changes to your face, wrinkling, etc. Yeah, that's that true. That are just unstoppable. They are inevitable and they're undeniable. Yeah, I never denied that. I don't no. care how much, in fact, I don't care how good you, the cream you use or what you do or the minimizing of sun exposure. Over a 10 year period of time, there are going to be such changes to your face that regardless of all the terrible treatment you did to your skin at 26, it's not going to be, I don't think it can be substantially reversed. It's just going to progressively get worse. Oxidation. And if facial, if facial attractiveness is a huge part of physical attractiveness, then how can it possibly be that you would end up better looking at 36 than at 26? Mm -hmm. hmm. That's a, well... Do you want like a hypothetical or do you want like, a, oh, because sure. hypothetically I'm again, I'm taking personal anecdotes from close personal friends that are in that age bracket. And I think about what their faces looked like at 26. And sometimes you still have a little bit of chub or you have a baby face. And then now as they've matured as women, they've got these great jawline structures, cheekbones and stuff because they've matured more. And so it depends, I guess what you like. I think that that's great. I love looking at I actually think softer faces in women are more attractive. See, so it's up to I personal opinion. I think most men find softer faces more attractive. See, I love a jawline and I love cheekbones. But cheek in addition bones, to, fine, if I even grant that men find super... Sh oh, you find, you find that more attractive in men or in women? Oh, in both. Like, think about, like, a young Johnny Depp with, like, his ripper jawline. I think it's great. And so I love when I see... Younger like, Johnny even, Depp. He looks the same. He's older now. He's not as physically attractive now. Yeah, that's true. I think I don't understand why this is such a complex question for you. Uh, okay, so... Okay, I'll just... 
fine. Even for men that are inclined to find super sharp features attractive in women, the uh, I don't know what the term is. What you said the the cheeks. cheekbones and jawlines, yeah. Just, okay, whatever. I don't I don't like that, but fine. If they're into that, whatever. Uh, what about wrinkles? What about aging? What about eye bags? I don't know. Like, I don't Does think at 36, like, I feel like you're painting a picture of, like, at 36, you look, like, decrepit and old. I and, uh, like, uh, uh, again, I'm just thinking That's of... That's not what I'm saying, but you start getting some of those things. But I'm not arguing that you she, don't. She said it would start declining, right? That's what you said? That's what I'm so, Kim, like, perplexed about. You asked me specifically from 26 to 36. If do God I think made, I will be... Let me ask you this. If God made you perfect, how come you have a nose job? I don't have a nose job, but thank you. I have my lips done, really? but that's it. Yep. You don't have a nose job? No, I don't have a nose job. Really? I have fake lips, but that's it. Oh. Well, if you got me perfect, why do you have fake lips? Um, I used to get my lips done from about 18 until 2022, um, and then that was the last time I got my lips done before. So you thought there was some imperfection that needed to be uh, healed or taken Yeah, care? absolutely, and that was before I was in faith. Uh, um, but, yeah, I used to love getting my lips done because I was insecure about them. So you don't let them get done anymore, ever again? No, I haven't had my lips done since, yeah, 2022 in July. So there will be no more cosmetic surgery for you ever? No, the only thing I would love to get done is probably get this scar on my head removed, but at some point. That's it? There's no. never going to be anything else? No, I don't think so. No? So right now, objectively, without any sort of cosmetic surgery whatsoever, without any sort of lip filler, butt lift, anything else, you objectively believe at 39 you're going to be as attractive as you are right this second. Ignore oh, me. Ignore no, me. no, no, sorry. Um, yeah, that's a great question, to be honest with you. I didn't think about it that way. I was more focusing on uh, physical appearance and thinking about in 10 years uh, what my body would look like. Uh, um, but when you put that argument there of what your face will look like, I have to agree with you. But that's not the measure I was kind of using. Isn't your physical attractiveness also based on your face? Yeah, so I'm totally agreeing with you guys. I'm just like saying if somebody that went and splashed acid in your face, you would be less physically attractive than you are right now, probably, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if if somebody's asking you about your physical attractiveness, aren't they taking the totality of your physical appearance? This would include your weight, your height, your facial features, all of that, and it would be combining them into this. I don't know if we could give it something like. Let's say a number, for instance, <laughs> um, where we said if we took all of those physical features and we were to put it between one and ten, hmm. you could come up with blank. At 39, if you had one to ten to choose from, right now you're seven. What are you at 39? Why do I feel like I'm getting boxed in with, like, the uncomfortability of rating people? Um, because you are getting boxed in. Good. Your logic is dumb. You deserve to get boxed in. Now answer yeah, the right. question. Um, I didn't think... Anyways, um... You don't think what? Answer the question. If I said that I'm an 8 right now at 26, and then if we're looking at 36, and if we're going now by the alternative factors of aging, um, I guess you could make the analysis that you would probably be a 6 by that point. What do you think you would be then by that analysis? Mate, I'd hope not, but you never know. <laughs> no, probably. What do you think objectively? You think at 39 years old, absent any sort of cosmetic surgery whatsoever, no lip fillers, no nose job, no whatever it is, none of that. If sure, you want to be you super out, nuanced. Hey, and I'm even going to grant, yeah. you work out every single day, you try to keep yourself in the best shape you possibly can. At 39 years old, does the number go down or does it go up? Well, if you, as I said, if you want to be super nuanced, you could probably have an increase in your body and a decrease in your face, uh, um, which would then probably even it out. If you're an eight now and you're saying hypothetically you'd be a six, you'd probably just land at a seven. Is that where you think you're going to be? I'd hope so. Is that where you think you're going to be, not what you hope? Um, I'd make the assumption. I hope I'm going to be a millionaire tomorrow. <laughs> that's great that I hope that, but I don't think that that's probably going to be true. So whether you hope that or not, I'm asking you, do you think that? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. So you think you'll be an eight at 39? No, I said a seven. A seven. Yeah. And you think you're a what right now? I said an eight. 
An eight. So you're going to go down one point at 39? <laughs> right, let's Do you, what about a 42? That's only a couple of years away from 39. Hmm. Well, we said 36, not 39. Um, okay, 36. So, so I, 42. Who do I know that's 42? Um, for some I don't reason, know. that big four zero for it women. It does, for but I know that this is going to be really when they like. When hit 40, man, it's done. Right? It's well, done. I know this up is till they're 39 like and a half years old. They're gorgeous. But the second they hit that 4-0, it's over. I know what I'm getting myself into by saying this, and I totally understand. But the only people that I know that are in their 40s are literally the Kardashians. And I'm like, I know they have so much work done. But they don't well, look I'm horrible in my 40s. for 40. Like, uh, no, not ugly. I'm me. literally 40. <laughs> Wait, so hold on. I'm li- your, literally 40. Point. Showed you a picture of me at 19 years old. The standard for men at their 40s, right? I'm probably one of the better looking ones out there. And I'm a four. Why do you think that age for men, when they have testosterone, for instance, which is the fountain of youth, and women have estrogen, which is the fountain of age, literally, why would you ever think for a second that even though men, if they keep their testosterone high, which again, like I said, fountain of youth, why do you think that you would appear younger or better looking at that age than For right underscore, now. the underscore patriarchy donated $199.99 to the former pimp. If you would look the same in 10 or 20 years, did you recruit 40 year olds to join your stable? Um, we actually did have some people at the agency that were not 40, but we had people that were in their mid to late thirties, definitely. Um, but as we all know, the highest paid people, um, and the most looked up porn is teen, um, barely legal and fresh teen. So I think that's just a basic obvious thing that we know, uh, for quotation. Wait, that's really weird. Mm. Why, why do you think that men would be viewing porn of really young women? Um, I think that there's this weird complexity uh, complexity about innocence, to be honest with you. I think that it comes down to oh. there's a thing Wait, that... Wait, they're doing porn. They're not innocent. Hold on. They're, they're doing porn. They're literally <laughs> not innocent at all. So but actually, this is coming from someone that... Thing. Well, this is coming from... It has from, purely to do, it's a, it's just an purely innocent to do with their girl looks. It's just who's getting fucked by three of those guys over there. Brian, come on. What's wrong? She's well, innocent. I don't know. It's I disagree with that thing. because as I literally saw conversations with subscribers and saw this phenomenon and what happens, it's when they're dressed in the school dresses, they're this, they're that. What is the underlying theme here? It's the fact that there's this weird girl next door phenomenon about the innocence of these girls, but there's this weird fantasy that's tied to it. And that's not that's me making things thing. up. That's, That's me no, literally the seeing opposite it. Is true. What's going on is what happens is that these are 25 year old women who dress this way so that they appear younger, so that they look more attractive to men because men value younger women because they're hotter. Isn't that what's actually going on? I don't know. As I said, my personal experience from literally working at an agency and seeing these conversations is I disagree. Well, you know, I don't think you do. So, for instance, if the LARP is, I'm 25 years old, but I'm dressing like I'm a schoolgirl, what you're doing is you're giving the presentation that you're younger than 25 years old, right? Mm-hmm. But if you okay. zoom out on that, so, so let's extrapolate that on that, fantasy, that though. Isn't that showing that men are into youth? But They want young women, right? Yeah, but Why? Because they want to fuck them. That's why. <laughs> they want to have sex with them because that's what makes but the babies. But then what's the differentiation? Young but women, what's the differentiation? Young, fertile women. So here, I'll explain it to you. Young, fertile women can have lots and lots of babies. So from a biological standpoint, why is it that a man would want to have sex? Why would a man, for instance, think young women beautiful? They think that because from an evolutionary standpoint, for instance, you would assume that the younger women are going to have far more babies than older women. So younger women look more beautiful to man because then man wants to have sex with younger women, thus make more babies, right? Um, look, to be honest with you, I understand that perspective. I think it's actually quite simplistic. I think that it's so complex, the um, subscriber um, 
the subscriber and OnlyFans relationship is way more, I, I personally think, uh, complicated than that. I don't think it's as simple as a guy looks at a young girl and thinks I'm going to have babies with her. I think that when there's such an then oversaturation... Why are attractive to younger women? I'm telling you why I think that. I just told you my theory from my personal experience is that there's an infatuation with innocence. And that's why... Uh, yeah. not, not an infatuation with can have babies. So why do you think attractiveness exists? But why would with? men watch porn? Here, I'll, I'll, here, I'll, I'll demonstrate this. Why do you think I'm attracted to Lady X even exists to begin with? Why do men and women need to be attracted to each other? Why do they need to want to have sex with each other? Why? If you're like, I understand the procreation I aspect of it. I, I said I understand. I said I understand the procreation aspect of it. But we're not talking about that. We're taking you're taking it no, out of context. No, we are talking about that. So I'm asking you, why do you think men and women need to be attracted to each other? Why is that necessary? I understand, but what we're talking no, about here is phenomenal. answer the phenomenon. question. Don't say I understand. Answer the question. Because of procreation. But yeah, right. Because you are nuancing of this. of procreation. Yes. But what we're talking about here in this, this very specific, so don't take it out of context, this very specific topic is the fact that men are not watching porn because they think that they're going to impregnate a woman. They're watching porn for other reasons. Yeah, because they're attracted to the women there, so they're jerking off to them. And yes, if you're attracted to a woman, the attractiveness exists for the singular purpose. The only reason you're attracted to woman and woman's attracted to man is because without that attractiveness, there's no baby. That's why the attractiveness exists to begin with. Therefore, if you were to look at it from a perspective of what men find attractive, why wouldn't men then go for younger women? Why wouldn't they think that was more attractive? Yeah, look, two opposing opinions, and I totally disagree with you from my personal experience, and you think A, I think B. Do you, okay, let me ask you a question. Do you think more men are jerking off to 80-year-old, uh, uh, you know, uh, porn, or they're jerking off more to uh, a barely legal teen and 20, 25-year-old porn? Well, I think that it's ridiculous to try and make such an exaggerated answer context. the question. So that's my answer. I think that saying eighty year old oh, making a comparison with an eighty year old and a nineteen. Question. Now answer the question. Do you think more men are jerking off to eighty year old women, seventy year old women, sixty year old women, fifty year old women, forty year old women, or twenty year old women? Well, there is fantasies of that, but no, I think that to make this extreme comparison of eighty year olds and nineteen year olds answer is just ridiculous. The so question. That's my answer. Okay, do you, so I'll ask again. I'm going to ask until you answer it. I don't care yeah, if you Yeah, because I understand you're trying to box me into so, saying so the younger here, so that here, you can try and make your point, but your, like, example is ridiculous. You know, you, Andrew, are you six feet tall and I say margarine hat? D is that an answer to the question? Is it an answer to the question if you ask me if I'm six feet tall and I say margarine hat? Is that an answer to your question? No. No. Now, I'm going to ask the question again. Are more men out there jerking off to 20-year-old women, or are they jerking off more to 40, 30, 50, 60, and 70-year-old women? Of course the answer is younger. Milf. What? I said, of course the answer is younger. Why? Your theory is because of procreation. My theory is because of innocence. Well, well wait a second. Women in their 30s, right, can still be innocent, can't they? Again, if you want to extrapolate on that, why is it the younger the better, though? And from my theory... Because they are attracted to the thing that make the baby, or they wouldn't have the attraction to begin with, right? You would not have attraction to woman if woman couldn't make baby. That wouldn't make any sense. Why would attractiveness even exist external to need to make baby? Why would that even exist? Look, as I said, I think you're simplifying a really complex problem. I, you think I'm simplifying a really complex problem? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think that you are overcomplexifying a really simple problem. Does that sound like a good argument to you? Potentially. As I said, that's my experience <laughs> from... Uh... Okay. So potentially it sounds like a good argument to you that you say, well, that's an overly simplistic analysis. And I say, well, that's an overly complex analysis. That's not an argument. Tell me why it would be that you... Our attractiveness only exists, period, for the purpose of procreation. And yet, when men are jerking off to the type of pornography in the age group where you are the most fertile, you can't make the link that these two things are connected. 
I'm not denying that the link is there. I'm saying in right. the specific context of what we're talking about, and we're talking about the consumption of pornography, I think that the reason for attractiveness is different than a baseline of procreation. Well, I don't think that attractiveness even exists absent the baseline of procreation. And I think that if you're looking at 20, 22, 23, 24, 25 year old women who are in their most fertile years, of course, are the most attractive. Why wouldn't they be? Those are the women who are going to be able to give you the most but we amount weren't of talking children. About, but we weren't talking about 20, 22, 23. We were specifically saying teen, barely legal, and fresh teen. So there's a differentiation here. Said. Also, yeah. and so, so only yeah, for the exactly. purpose of TOS, only for the purpose of TOS am I not able to dive into this. But of course, at 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yes, of course, those are very fertile women. Why wouldn't men want that? When you say innocence, when you say they're into it because of innocence, innocence meaning what? I'm a virgin 18 year old, meaning I'm the most likely to bear your genetic offspring, correct? Look, yeah, I guess you could see it from that perspective, absolutely, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anyway. Good talk. <laughs> Heavy stuff, guys. Uh, so, I mean, I, I guess better looking at 36 <laughs> versus now at 26. Yep, let's just go with that. Okay. <laughs> um, well, I mean, aging, you, you know about the whole aging thing? Like, people. <laughs> I'm, I'm familiar with that phenomenon. Well, yeah, but it changes, like, your physical appearance. So,. Uh, Wait, hold on. Before I get to that, uh, you said better looking in 10 years, or did you walk back? What did I say? I said, oh, in 10 years? Uh, yeah, better looking in 10 years, yes. Better looking in 10 years, yes. Okay. I'm curious, since you guys rated yourselves 10s, mm -hmm. how could you p possibly be 10s now if you're going to be better looking in 10 years' time? Well, when I... Oh, sorry. When I talked about when we've talked about the totality of it i s said a 10 or, and then i retracted and said a seven so if yeah, i said now a we're seven now looks. we're back to going back we're, up we're back to looks and you you said that i said from other people's perspectives i'm probably seen as a seven or lower and so in 10 years okay, like so we talked about there's there's a there's a um right it's, so it's you're walking that back Going to you, you said you were a 10, but you said you'd also be better looking in 10 years' time. So how can you be a 10 now if you will be better looking in 10 years' time? I'm going to take care of myself. Like she, Everything she said, I second that. Right, but if you're better, going to be better looking in 10 years' time, how can you be a 10 now? We'll be a 10.5. Yeah, that doesn't exist. So do you want to engage in good faith and actually... Answer the question? Okay, well, we're going to move off a little bit from this rating thing, but I kind of will actually give you reasons for why we bring this up and why we offer pushback. So the reality is, in the dating marketplace, is that uh, a lot more women are delusional about their self-assessment in the dating marketplace than men are. Because we as men, if I step to a girl, and this can be just off of looks, if I step to a girl and absent like insane levels of charisma or status or um, money or something else, insane levels of something else. Oh, I like guys with good personalities. You have to be so charismatic and funny in order to pull that off. In any case, if I'm a guy who's a seven and I step to a woman who's a 10, I don't get anything from her. I don't get a date. I don't get, I certainly don't get casual sex. So we as men face rejection immediately. We face it on the front end. Men face rejection immediately. Whereas women, if you're like an average girl and you kind of make yourself sexually available to a guy who's outside of your league, he'll fuck you. Well, sure. He'll have sex with you. He will never, he, very good chance he'll never give you commitment. He probably won't treat you that well or treat you how you feel like you deserve to be treated. This is what, what, where we uh, hear these complaints about fuckboys from, from 